What if we drop five nuclear bombs today on exact original locations? Let's see how powerful these destructive nuclear bombs are. One of them is so dangerous that they decided it was too risky to be used. Get ready for some intense explosion. First up is the 15 kiloton bomb the US dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. The bomb was a uranium gun type atomic weapon called Little Boy. It was developed by the Manhattan Project during World War II. Over 100,000 Japanese people were killed or injured from the blast, heat, and radiation effects of the bomb. Within the first millisecond after detonation, the fireball of Little Boy reached a temperature of over 300,000 degrees Celsius, which is about 540,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hotter than the interior of the sun. To grasp just how scorching these temperatures were, consider that the Little Boy blast in one instant generated enough heat to cremate over two million bodies simultaneously. Pretty chilling, right? And believe it or not, we're just scratching the surface. On September 3, 2017, at the Pungiri nuclear test site under Mount Mantop, North Korea set off a nuclear bomb which explosive power generated was over 16 times larger than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It was the first test of a thermonuclear hydrogen bomb claimed by North Korea. This mega-nuke was thought to weigh around 250 kilotons, more or less. Researchers aren't totally sure how powerful the bomb was, and North Korea is keeping it under wraps. The test produced a 6.3 magnitude tremor that was felt over the Chinese border. Tunnel collapses at the site later indicated the mountain shook for several minutes. Radiation was detected by monitoring stations in Russia, China, and South Korea, confirming the nuclear nature of the test. Crazy, right? Now, let's talk about Castle Bravo, the largest nuclear bomb ever tested by the U.S. It was the first test of a practical hydrogen bomb design by the U.S. and was detonated on March 1, 1954, at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. It packed a whopping 15 megatons of power, causing an explosion two and a half times more destructive than researchers expected. This bomb was a staggering 1,000 times stronger than the one dropped on Hiroshima. A roughly four-mile-wide crater was carved out of the reef in the blast. The mushroom cloud reached 114,000 feet in under 10 minutes. Residents had to be evacuated. The artificial moon effect from nuclear explosions is caused by the extreme power and heat lifting the cloud rapidly into the mesosphere. There, the debris scatters sunlight downwards at night, like a temporary aurora. It earned the title of the worst radiological disaster in U.S. history, sparking a major backlash against nuclear testing. Next up, the Tsar Bomba 50 was an enormous three-stage thermonuclear bomb developed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s. Its test yielded the highest explosive energy of any man-made blast in history. On October 30th, 1961, it was detonated over Novaya Zemlya Island in the Arctic Sea. The visibly fearball blast radius was over three miles wide. The mushroom cloud reached about 11,000 feet in altitude within a minute. Buildings 55 miles away were destroyed, and damage was caused over 500 miles away. Radio communications were disrupted for over an hour. The Tsar Bomba was 8 meter long, 2.1 meter in diameter, and weighed a massive 27,000 kilogram. It had to be parachuted out of a specially modified bomber plane to be detonated. Tsar Bomba unleashed nearly 3,300 times the explosive energy of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It's estimated it would have caused third-degree burns up to 60 miles away if detonated on land. The bomb had a design yield of 100 megatons, but it was intentionally reduced to 50 megatons for the test to limit the potential environmental consequences and fallout. What if we dropped this 100 megatons bomb into New York City today? Wow! This is insane! It will create 8 millions of fatalities and injuring 6.6 .6 million people. If you found this as fascinating as I did, don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can continue making more videos. And that wraps up our journey into the explosive world of nuclear bombs. Meanwhile, do check out our fun and engaging video on How Deep is the Ocean? 
Thank you for watching.